Let's talk about mutations. This video is going to mostly be talking about mutations in viruses, but the information can also be applied to different mutations in different organisms. So first of all, what is a mutation? So a mutation is actually just a change to the genetic code of an organism. How does it occur? In viruses, mutations typically occur in the replication process. What that means is when a virus is replicating inside of you, every single time it replicates its entire genome, there are always going to be a couple of mistakes. And those mistakes in the genetic sequence are called mutations. And there are three different types of mutations. The first type of mutation is one that actually gives the virus a disadvantage. This could be, um, for example, our immune system detecting the virus a lot easier, or even the virus not being able to bind to our cells as well. Typically with these kind of mutations, um, it doesn't live out as long because it's not advantageous. So typically these strains of viruses die out pretty quickly. The second type of mutation is a neutral mutation. So this is one where it, the virus doesn't really get much of an advantage or a disadvantage with this mutation. It's kind of the same. These type of mutations, typically they still remain and they are present, but they're not really ones of much concern. And the third type of mutation is one that gives the virus an advantage. So these are the mutations that we are worried about. And the advantages could be that it may be able to evade our immune system a lot better, it may be able to bind to our cells a lot better, it may be more easily transmissible, things like that. So those are definitely more advantages to the virus and thus these advantages are what help that specific mutation and that specific strain perpetuate in our society. The question now is, you know, a lot of people are like, well, why do I have to get vaccinated if there's going to be another mutant strain anyway and then I have to take another vaccine? Well, the thing is, if we all get vaccinated now, we're going to give the virus less of an opportunity to be able to mutate. Think about it. Every single time the virus replicates, there's mutations, right? So we want to make sure that we don't give it that chance. And in order to not give it that chance, we should hopefully all get uh, vaccinated if we're able to. And that'll really help stop the spread and also really help stop the variants from popping up. And if you have any further questions about mutations or anything in general, you can let me know down in the comments below and I will get to that as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching.